Hi everyone, welcome to our another HTML and CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create a responsive educational website or an online course website step by step using HTML and CSS. And this page is going to be a multi page website. Now, let me show you the website which we are going to create in this tutorial. Here in this website, you can see that we have a logo and we have some navigation links here with some hover effect. And then we have a background image we have our background heading our paragraph and two button here and this button has also some hover effect and if we now scroll down here you can see that we have our awesome feature section and here in this section we have three card here with some icon heading and paragraph and at the bottom here you can see that we have some our popular courses so in our courses here you can see that we have a course image we have a course date, course heading and the review here and we have a price tag here also. And if we now scroll down here you can see that we have a registration option and this registration option is looking so premium with a beautiful form. And if we now scroll down here you can see that we have our community experts and we have 4 profile cards here with some social media icon. And this icon have also some hover effect. And if we now scroll down here you can see that we have our beautiful footer here and in this footer we have 5 columns and we have a subscription option and then copyright and social media icon. And as I mentioned earlier this website is going to be a multi page website. So now let's go to our about page. So this is our about page and here in the about page we have a background image and we have a heading and then we have our section here. We have an image section in the left side and we have some text with some features. And if we now scroll down here you can see that we have our awesome features. And we have our trusted by section. And at the last we have our footer. Now let's go to the top and let's go to our blog. So here you can see that this is our blog page. We have our background image and a heading here. And if we now scroll down here you can see that in the left side we have our blog section. And in the right side we have our categories. And we have some blogs here. Now let's go to the top. And let's open our first blog here. If we click on our read more button. We will see the complete blog. And then we have a read next button also. So after our blog page let's go to our course. And here you can see that we have our course page and we have some course here. Now from here let's open our first course. Now here you can see that we have a background with a heading. And then here we have our all course details. Here at the first we have our course image and then we have our course heading, our review and a small paragraph. And in the right side we have our price tag. And here in the right side here you can see that we have some features of this course and we have an enroll course button. And if we now scroll down here you can see that we have our instructor image, name and the designation. And then we have some course overview and what you will learn some text or some features here. And then we have our footer. Now let's go to our contact us page. This is our contact us page. We have a background and we have a heading here. And in the left side here you can see that we have some text with our address, phone number, email address and some social media icons here. And in the right side here you can see that we have a beautiful contact us form. And we have a send message button. And if we now scroll down here you can see that we have a google map. And this google map is working also. And at the last we have our footer. Now as I mentioned earlier this website is completely responsive. Now for some reason I hosted this website on an online server. So I have an opportunity to show you this website from my mobile phone in real time. As you can see that here we have two different smartphones and this is our home page. And here we have our awesome features and our popular course. And this course section is looking so beautiful. And then here we have our registration and our form. And then we have our community experts. And then our footer. 
now let's go to the top and open our menu and let's go to our about us page so this is our about us page we have some details and we have our image and awesome features and then we have our trusted by now let's go to the top and let's go to our blog page so this is our blog page and here you can see that we have some blogs here and we have our category and our footer now let's open our first blog and this is our blog and here you can see that we have our complete blog here and then we have a button and our footer now let's go to the top and open our menu and let's go to our course page and here we have our all courses and our footer now let's open our first course and this is our course details page here you can see that we have our course image our course features course name and the enroll option and our footer now let's check out our contact us page this is our contact us page we have some details some icons and our contact us form and here you can see that we have a beautiful map here and this map is also working and our footer So that was our mobile responsive preview and I will create this whole website step by step in a few parts and this is our part 1 and in our part 1 we will create our home page and we will make our home page responsive for mobile and tablet as well. After creating our home page we will create our about us page, our blog page, course page, contact us page in some other parts and after watching our part 1 don't forget to watch our part 2 also. Link will be given in the description. So if you are a beginner and want to learn HTML and CSS and how to create a website from scratch, then this tutorial is must be for you. Watch this complete playlist and all the parts. After watching all the videos and parts, I will assure you that you can create your own website using HTML and CSS step by step. Now in a few moments, I will show you how to create this website. But before we get started, if you guys are new in my channel, then please please subscribe, like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos. And if you guys have any question about this video, please let me know in my comment section. That's it guys, let's get started. In my project folder here you can see that I have a images folder, I have an index file and I have a style sheet. And if I open this images folder here you can see that I have a lot of images and I am going to use these images for creating our website. Now let's open this folder with our VS code. And guys here you can see that we have a simple HTML boilerplate. And in this boilerplate we have linked our style sheet and we have given a title for our this project. And in our style sheet here you can see that we have a link for our Google font and in our star we have margin 0, padding 0 and box size in border box. And in our body we have defined that Google font which is Poppins. And here you can see that we have some global text. And under this global tag here you can see that we have some h1, span and h6. It means the number of h1, span and h6 in my website will take the exact styling that I am given here. So now let's go to our index file and if I go to my website here you can see that we have to create our this navigation bar first here you can see that in the left side we have a logo here and in the right side we have our this nav links now we have to create this nav bar first so for creating this nav bar let's go to our code and inside our body let's create a comment first and it will be navigation that's it so here first we have to create a nav tag for creating our navigation and inside this nav tag we will create two part one part will take our this logo and the second part will take our this nav links okay so that's why first we have to import our images so that we can insert our logo so that's why let's take an image tag and the source will be i have an images folder 
and inside my images folder I have a logo.svg that's it now save and let's go to live and here you can see that we have our logo here now after our logo we have to add our nav links so that's why let's create a div tag here and the class name of this div tag will be navigation and inside this div tag we have to create an another list and inside this another list we have to create a list tag and then we have to create an anchor tag for our nav links and here it will be hash and the first nav link will be home that's it now copy this one from here and then paste it here four times that's it and our second one will be about and our third one will be blog and this one will be courses and this one will be contact that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our all nav links here now we have to install these nav links here you can see that our this logo and our this nav links is now in one column but i want this two part to be in one row and so for doing this let's go to our style sheet but first we have to copy this nav here and then let's comment out here and it will be navigation so that we can understand these codes and paste the nav here and inside this nav here you can see that we have two part one is our image and another one is our this navigation div tag so i want this two to be in one row so that's why i am using display flex and the flex direction will be row that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that now our this nav bar is now in one row but now i want some space between this logo and uh, between this nav links so that's why i will add justify content and it will be a space between that's it now save and go to our website and then now here you can see that we have some space between this logo and our this nav links now we have to add some padding from left right and top and bottom here so for doing this let's go to our style sheet here and here i will add a padding and the padding from top and bottom will be 1 vw and from left and right it will be 8 vw vw means viewpoint width now save and go to our website and here you can see that now we have some space from left, right, top and bottom here. So after this one, now here you can see that our logo is now taking a lot of width and height. Now we have to fix some width and height for this logo. So for doing this, just copy this nav and then paste it here. And inside our nav, we have an image here. We have image tag for our logo. So that's why let's take our image. And here I will give a width and the width will be 150 pixel. That's it. And I want this logo to be a clickable logo so that if anyone click on this logo, they will redirect it to the home page. So that's why we have to make this clickable. So that's why I will add a cursor pointer. Now save and go to our website. And now here you can see that our this logo is now taking 150 pixel width. And here you can see that we have a cursor here so that we can click on this logo. So after this one, now we have to style our this nav links. Here you can see that the nav links is now in one column here, but I want everything in one row. So for doing this, just copy this nav from here and then paste it here. Then if I go to my index file, and here you can see that I have a navigation class. Now copy this navigation class and then paste it here. And then inside our this navigation, we have another list. Now copy this another list and uh, paste it here. That's it. And here in our another list we have to add display flex because I want everything in one row. So that's why it will be display flex and justify content will be flex end. Because I want this part to be the end of the right side so that's why it will be flex end. And the align items will be center. That's it now save and go to our website. And here you can see that our nav links is now in one row. So now we have some bullet points here and we have to remove them. So for doing this just copy this ul and inside this ul we have some list tags. Now we have to remove the bullet points so that's why it will be list style none. Now save and here you can see that we don't have any bullet points anymore. And now I want to add some space between these nav links. So that's why let's add a margin left and a margin left will be 30 pixel. Now save and go to our website and now here you can see that we have some space between these nav links. Now after this one we have to fix this anchor tags. We have to remove the underline. So for doing this just copy this ally 
and the nav from here and then target our anchor tag and I want to remove the underline so that's why text decoration will be none and let's give a color here and I will give a RGB color and the color will be this one now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have removed the underline and we have defined some color for our this anchor text now I will give some font width and uh, font size so let's give font size first and the font size will be 16 pixel and I will give a font width and the font width will be 500 that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that now we have our this nav links here now I want to add hover effect on this nav links so for doing this just copy this ally and the anchor tag from here and then paste it here then we have to add hover so whenever I will hover on our this anchor tag I want to change the color of this text and the color will be this one that's it now save and go to our website and if I now hover here you can see that our color is now changing but this color is changing so fast I want a smooth changing so for doing this let's add a transition and transition will be 0.3 second is that's it and then now here you can see that we have a smooth changing here and then now here you can see that our this logo and our this nav links is actually aligned on the top here I want these two to be aligned in the center like here not on the top so let's go to our navigation and uh, here you can see that we have to give align items and it will be center that's it now save and uh, here you can see that now this one and this one is now aligning in the center that's it so after this one now I want to give a box shadow underneath this never so that it looks more alive and uh, more good so that's why let's add a box shadow and the box shadow from x value it will be 2 pixel from y value it will be 2 pixel and for the radius it will be 10 pixel and we have to give a rgb value and it will be 0 0 0 and 0 0.15 now save and here you can see that we have a small box shadow underneath this navbar and this is looking so beautiful so here you can see that we have done with our this navbar and after this navbar we have to create our this home section we have to create our heading our this paragraph and we have to create our this two beautiful button and we will also add a background image so for doing this let's go to our code and in our index file here we have to first comment out and it will be home that's it so now let's create a section here and let's give an id for this section and it will be home so first here we have to create a s2 for our home and uh, just copy this heading from here and then paste it here and then we have to create a paragraph just copy this paragraph from here and paste it here that's it so after our paragraph now we have to create our two buttons so for creating these two button we have to create a div tag and uh, here I will give a class name for this div tag and the class name of this div tag will be button and inside this button div tag we have to create two button so that's why let's create the first one and this one will be hash and the first one will be learn more that's it and uh, now copy this one and then paste it here and uh, this one will be visit courses so visit courses that's it and here let's give a class for this first one and the class will be blue because here you can see that our this button is actually blue so that's why we have to define a class here and it will be blue now let's define the class for the second one also and this one will be yellow that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our this heading our paragraph and our these two button here now we have to add a background image in the background so for doing this just copy this home id from here and go to our style sheet and comment out first and it will be home that's it and paste our id so this is the id so first i will add a background image so that's why let's take our background image and here it will be linear gradient and here we have to give two rgb value because if we go to our website here you can see that we have two rgb value here one in the top and one in the bottom here so that's why let's take our first rgb value so our first rgb value will be this one now we have to add another rgb value so let's add this one and our second rgb value will be this one 
that's it now here you can see that we have two rgb value and then now here we have to define our image so now let's take a url and uh, i have to go to my images folder and inside our images folder i have a back dot jpg that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have a background image now this background image is now taking the height for our this text here now i want this background image to take the full width and height so that's why we have to give width and height and the width will be 100 percent and our height will be 100 vh now save and go to our website and here you can see that our this image is now taking 100 percent width and 100 vh height now i want this background image to be in the center here you can see that we have our background image but this background image is actually showing the left right or right bottom here so i want this one to be in the center so that's why first i will add background size and it will be covered and the background position will be center that's it now save and here you can see that our background image is now taking perfectly in the center here like our this one so after adding our background image we have to bring this text in the center now everything is actually in the left side in one column i want everything in the center so let's go to our home and here i have to add display flex and the flex direction will be column and the justify content will be center and the align items will be also center now save and go to our website and here you can see that now everything is in the center here but this paragraph is not in the center so we have to add another property which is text align and it will be center now save and go to our website and here you can see that now everything is now in the center here so here you can see that our this text is not actually visible so we have to change the color of this text and our this paragraph is taking the full width but i want to give some specific width and height for this section for this paragraph so now let's go to our home here and copy this home and here you can see that we have a s2 and let's target our s2 first so first i will give a color and i will give white and then i will give a font size and the font size will be 2.2 rem and then i will add a letter spacing and the letter spacing will be one pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our this text here and now this text is looking beautiful so after this one we have to target our paragraph so that's why just copy this section and then paste it here and instead of s2 it will be paragraph so first i will give a width and the width will be 50 percent that's it and the color will be white and our font size will be 0 0.9 ram that's it and i will give a line height here and the line height will be 25 pixel that's it now save and go to our website and now here you can see that our this paragraph is now taking 50% width and this is in the center here so after this one so if i now scroll here you can see that our this navbar is not actually fixed on the top it is actually going under the screen now i want this navbar to be fixed like our this one so for doing this let's go to our code and let's go to our nav here if i go to our nav and here first we have to give position and it will be fixed now save and go to our website and here you can see that our navbar is now fixed but this is not taking full width so let's give a width here and it will be 100 percent and we don't have any background color so that's why let's give a background color also and the background color will be white now save go to our website and here you can see that our this section is now taking 100 percent width and we have a background color also so now after fixing the navbar here you can see that our this text is not actually aligning in the center of this screen so now i will add some padding from the top here so let's go to our home and here we have to add a padding here and the padding top will be 40 pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that now it is in the center so after this one now we have to style our these buttons so let's go to our home and uh, copy this home id and then let's target our anchor tag first i will remove the underline so that's why text decoration will be none and then i will give you a font size 
and the font size will be 0 0.9 rem then I will give a padding 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 from top and bottom will be 13 pixel and the from left and right it will be 35 pixel and then let's give a background color and the background color will be white then I will give a font weight and the font weight will be 600 now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our this buttons here now for these buttons I want to add some border radius so let's add some border radius and the border radius will be 5 pixel now save and here you can see that we have a small border radius here so now here you can see that after adding some padding and uh, some styling this buttons is now actually on the top of our this paragraph but I don't want this now I will add some padding or margin from top of these buttons so let's go to our code here and uh, just copy this form and then paste it here and if I go to my index here you can see that we have a button class now copy this button class and then paste it here and here I will add a margin top and it will be 30 pixel now save here you can see that now we have some space from the top here now after adding some margin I want to add some effect here on these buttons like about these buttons so for adding these colors just copy this one and then paste it here so now first we have to style our blue button so that's why let's add the blue class and here for this blue button I will add a color and the text color will be white then I will give a background color and I will add a RGB value and the RGB value will be this one now save and here you can see that we have changed the color of our this button now I want to add hover effect so just copy this and then paste it here and here we have to add a hover so if I hover on our this button I want to change the background color and our background color will be white and our text color will be this one so that's why I first remove this one and uh, paste it here and our background color will be white that's it now save and go to our website and if I now hover here you can see that we have changed the background color now let's copy this one and we have to add hover effect for our yellow also so instead of blue it will be yellow that's it now copy this yellow and then paste it here now for the yellow the color will be this one but we have to change the background color and the background color will be this one and if I hover on our this button I want to change the color and button background color so our color will be this one and our background color will be white that's it now save and go to our website and we have changed our background color and if I now hover here you can see that so if I hover here you can see that our color is changing to a yellow color the text color but I want a different color I want this background color in my text here so just go to our color and uh, copy this color from here and then paste it here now save and go to our website and if I now hover here you can see that this color is now looking good so let's add some transition here and it will be 0 0.3 second this now copy this transition and paste it here also now save and go to our website and if I now hover here you can see that we have a smooth hover effect so guys here you can see that we have successfully created our home page and our this header using HTML and CSS now after this one we have to create our this awesome feature section so for creating this one let's go to our code here and in our index first we have to comment out and it will be features that's it and here we have to create a section and we have to add an id here for this section and it will be features and inside these features first we have to create a heading so that's why let's take a h1 and uh, h1 will be awesome features that's it and then we have to create a paragraph tag so just go to our website and copy this paragraph from here and then paste it here that's it so after this paragraph if I now go to our code here here you can see that we have three card here 1, 2 and 3 now we have to create these cards so now let's create a div tag 
and the class name of this div tag will be features base that's it and here first we have to create our first card so that's why let's create a div tag and the class name of this card will be FEA it means feature box that's it so here first we have to add an icon here here you can see that we have a icon font awesome icon so for adding the font awesome icons to our website first we have to add a CDN link from font awesome icon so that's why let's create a new tab and here we have to search font awesome CDN that's it and here we have to select the second one which is setup and if you now scroll down here you can see that we have a link here for our this font awesome now copy this link from here and go to our HTML and here we have to paste the link that's it now we can add as many as font awesome icon we want to add in our website so let's go to our font awesome and let's go to our icons here first I want to add our this icon so that's why let's search this one and it will be graduation so here you can see that we have an icon here now just click on this icon from here we have to copy the tag and go to our code and paste it here that's it so after our this icon we have to create a h3 and if I now go to our website just copy this h3 from here and then paste it here then we have to create a paragraph tag and just copy this paragraph from here and then paste it here now save and go to our website and here you can see that if we scroll down we have a heading here we have a text and we have another card here here you can see that we have a card but here you can see that we have actually also inserted a icon here but this icon is not showing but here you can see that we have icon now we have to actually go to our html and from here we have to actually remove the integrity and this cross origin from the link now save and go to our website and now here you can see that we have an icon here so now after adding our these things we have to style this one so that's why let's go to our code here and for styling just copy these features id from here and here first we have to comment out and here we have to add the id of our features that's it and here in our features first i will give a padding and the padding from top it will be 5 vw from left it will be 8 from bottom it will be 0 from right it will be 8 that's it now save and go to our website and we have some padding here from top bottom and the left and right so after this one i want this text to be in the center in the align center so that's why let's add text align center now save and here you can see that we have now everything in the center here so after this one we have to install our this card so for installing these cards let's go to our code and let's go to our index file and here you can see that we have a fee box here now copy this fee box class from here and then paste it here but before we have to add this one that's it and here we have to give a background color so the background color will be this one and then we have to add text align and the text align will be a start now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our these sections here and then now here you can see that we have a different background color here for this card and uh, the text is now in the start here now we have to install our this icon our this heading and our this paragraph so for doing this just copy this classes and then paste it here then we have to target our i tag and here i have to add a font size and the font size will be 2.3 rem then i have to add a color and the color will be a rgb value that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our this icon so after this icon we have to target our h3 for our heading now copy this section and then paste it here instead of i it will be h3 and here first i will give a font size and the font size will be 1.2 rem then i will give a font weight and the font weight will be 600 then i have to give a rgb color also here and uh, the color i will just copy this color from here and then paste it here it will be 59 and here it will be 46 and uh, 46 and then let's add a padding here 
and depending from top it will be 13 pixel from left it will be 0 from bottom 7 pixel from right 0 now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have uh, this heading here so after our this heading we have to install our paragraph also so just copy this section and then paste it here and here instead of h3 it will be paragraph and the font size will be 1 rem and the font width will be 400 and uh, we don't need any padding here and we have to give a color and the color will be a RGB value that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have uh, this text here so after installing one card now we have to create two more so that's why I just copy this div from here and then paste it two times now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have now three cards and now I will actually change the icons for these two and change the heading also that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have now different icons and a different heading here so now this card is now in one column but I want these things to be in one row so we can use flexbox and we can also use grid and here in the navbar we have already used flexbox now I want to add a different method so that we can actually make these things in one row using a different method like grid so that we can align these things in one row so let's do this let's go to our style and copy these features id from here and go to the top and paste it here that's it and then we have to go to our index here and uh, actually inside our fee base we have this three card now we have to target our this parent which is fee base and then paste it here that's it now i want to use display grid so that's why i use display grid that's it and uh, i want to give the width minimum width for these cards so let's give a grid template columns that's it and here i want to repeat and i want these three cards to be responsive also so that's why we have to add auto fit that's it and here we have to add a function and it will be min max now i have to define a width for each of these cards and uh, these cards will take 320 pixel and uh, this 320 pixel will take one frame okay so this section is actually for only one card and i want this style to be for other cards also so that's why i have to use repeat okay and after adding this one now i want to add some space between these cards so that's why we have to add a grid gap here and the grid gap will be one rem that's it now save and go to our website and uh, now here you can see that we have our uh, this card is now in one row here and this card is now taking 320 pixel and uh, these cards will also be responsive in our tablet and in our mobile screen devices so that we don't have to write any other code for this section okay so now here you can see that we don't have any space from the top of uh, this section so that's why let's add a margin top and the margin top will be 50 pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have now a space from the top here now i want to show you that this section is responsive so now if i inspect my website and here you can see that our this section is now responsive here and they are taking full width and height for this one column and one row so that's it now let's go back So guys here you can see that we have created our these awesome features also. Now if I go to my website and here we have to create another section which is our popular courses. So now let's create this one. Let's go to our index and then let's comment out first and it will be courses. And then let's create a section here and then let's give an ID and the ID will be course. That's it. So here also first we have to create a h1 for our heading and we have to create a paragraph. So I will simply copy this section from this one. Copy this h1 and paragraph that's it and the heading will be 
this one just copy this from here and then paste it that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our this text here so after this one now we have to create our this course cards here so for creating these cards let's go to our code and underneath this paragraph let's create a div tag and the class name of this div tag will be course box this will be a parent div and inside this parent div we will add our this child courses so let's create our first card and the class name of this card will be courses that's it and inside this card first we have to insert our image so here we have a images folder and inside our images folder i have a c1 image it means course one image that's it so after our image now we have to add the details for this course also so let's create a div tag and the class name of this div tag will be details that's it and if i now go to our website here you can see that first we have a date and we have the course name and we have some stars here so just copy this one from here and then go to our code and here first we have to create a span tag and paste the line here and then we have to create a h6 for the name of our course now copy this course name from here and then paste it here then we have to create another div tag for our stars now class name will be a star Now here we have to add an icon from our font awesome icon. So let's take an i and here we have to give a class. Class for our star and it will be first for a star. That's it. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that we have our image for our course. We have our date. We have our course name. But the star icon is not showing. And uh, yeah, here you can see that this will be actually a space, not dash. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that we have a star icon here now we need four more so that's why I just copy this one and then paste it three or four times now save and go to our website and here you can see that now we have five star here so after this one we have to add a number here and this number actually indicates how many people or how many students are actually enrolled this course so that's why we have to add this one also so here I will add a span tag and inside this span tag we have to add the number. Now save and here you can see that we have that number here. So after this one if I now go to our website here you can see that we have a price tag here also we have a price tag and we have to create this one also. So let's go to our code. So underneath this div tag we have to create another div tag and the class name of this div tag will be cost that's it and here we have to add a price tag and it will be dollar forty nine point ninety nine that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have that price tag here so now we have imported all the necessary information for this course now we have to style this course here and we have to style these tags also so let's go to our code here so first we have to add a space here so that we can understand that div here and uh, this one that's it so now first we have to copy the course and here we have to add a comment here and then paste it the course id that's it first i will give a padding and uh, padding from top it will be 8 from left it will be 8 from bottom it will be 0 and from right it will be 8 now save and go to our website and we have some space from left right top and bottom and I want to align all the text in the center so now everything is now in center now we have to fix the image this image is taking so much space out of our screen so we have to give a specific width and height for this image so copy this course here and then paste it here and if I now go to my index and here you can see that we have a courses class now copy this courses class and then paste it here if I now go to our website here you can see that the text is actually in the center but I want this text to be in the start so that's why we have to add text align and it will be a start 
then I have to give a background color, a different background color and the color with this one and I want to take this height 100% that's it so now let's target our image we have to fix the image and it will be image here the width will be 100% and the height will be 60% then I will give a background size and it will be cover and uh, background position will be center. Now save and go to our website. And now here you can see that our image is now taking full width and height of this screen and we don't have any scroll bar from the bottom here also. But we have to actually give the same width and height which we have given here. So and here we have only one card now and I will add this also. So now I will also add grid here so that everything stay in the row so that's why let's go to our code here and uh, copy this course and then paste it here and if i now go to our course box which is our parent now copy this one and then paste it here and i will simply actually copy the grid which we have created here and uh, paste it here now save and go to our website and here you can see that this is still taking the full width and height it's maybe because we don't have any other cards here so let's go to our code and then let's add some other cards here now copy this card and then paste it here here and here that's it now save and go to our code okay this is not changing now we have to fix the problem here if i now go to our style sheet okay here we have to give a dot here because course box is actually a class and i forgot to give the dot now save and go to our website it should work now yeah this is now working we have all the cards here so after this one now we have to style our this card details so for styling these things let's go to our style sheet now copy this and then paste it here then we have to target our this details class and then paste it here and now here we have to add some padding and the padding from top 15 pixel from left 15 pixel from bottom 0 from right 15 pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that now you have some space from top bottom and left and right and from here i don't want to install our this date and our this course title i want to install our this as starts so that's why i just copy this section and paste it here and here we have to target our i tag that's it and here we have to give a color and our color will be this one and then let's give a font size and the font size will be 0.9 RAM now save and go to our website and here you can see that now we have our this stars here so after our this details now we have to install our this price tag so for installing this one just copy this one from here and then paste it here and here instead of details it will be cost that's it and here first i will give a background color and our background color will be a rgb value and then i will give a text color and it will be white then i will add a line height and it will be 70 pixel and then i have to give a width also and it will be 70 pixel we have to give a height and it will be also 70 pixel now save and go to our website and now here you can see that we have our price tag and I want this text to be in the center so here we have to add a text align center and then here I will add a border radius and it will be 50% now save and go to our website and here you can see that it is now taking 50% border radius and I want to place this tag in here not in the bottom of this card so for placing this price tag here we have to add position absolute so that we can move this thing inside the card so that's why we have to add position and it will be absolute and here i have to give a right value because i want this one to be in the right so that's why we have to give a value from the right side and it will be 15 pixel now save and here you can see that our this price tag is actually out of the screen it should be in the here because the price tag is actually acting for the screen not for the card so that's why we have to go to our card here which is our courses and here we have to give a position relative now save 
and here you can see that we have our this section here now I want this one to be here so that's why we have to add a bottom or top value so let's add a bottom value and from bottom it will be 100 pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that our this price tag is now in the perfect position so now here you can see that we have created our this course section now we have to add two more card here so for adding this two more just copy this one from here and paste it two times now save so now here you can see that we have our six course card here and now i will change the image and so for doing this let's go to our code and change the images so now i have changed the images now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have six different images for six different card you guys can actually change the heading also the course name also but i don't want to do this so here you can see that we have done with our this course section also and after our this course section we have to create our this registration section also we have a heading here and we have a time or date whatever it is and then we have a small form here and we have to create this form so for creating this section let's go to our code here and here we have to comment out first and it will be registration that's it and here let's create a section and we have to give a id here and the id will be registration And here inside this registration I want to create two part, two separate part. One part will actually take this section, our this text and our this time and our another part will take this form. Okay. So let's create two div tag here. And the class name of our first div tag will be reminder. And here we have to create another div tag and the class name of this div tag will be form. That's it. Now inside our reminder div tag we have to create a paragraph first so for the paragraph just copy this one and then paste it here then we have to create a h1 so for the h1 copy this one and then paste it here so after our this one we have to create our time we have to create four boxes four small boxes so let's create a div tag and the class name of this div tag will be time and here we have to create a div tag and the class name of this div tag will be date so this div tag will be for our date so it will be 18 days actually so now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our paragraph heading and 18 days here but uh, I want to break the line here after 18 so that's why let's create a br it means break tag that's it so now just copy this one and paste it three times and here it will be 23 hours 06 minutes and 58 now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our all the date here so after our this date now we have to create our this form so for creating this form let's go to our form div and here inside our form we have a heading here which is create free account now and we have to create a h3 tag and paste the heading inside the h3 so after our heading we have to create our this sections here we have to create the input section here so let's create our input and type will be text and here we have to add a placeholder and our first one will be for our name now copy this input section and paste it two more time and our second one will be for our email address email address and our third one will be for phone number now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our form here we have our heading and we have three section here for input and then we have to create a button here so for creating the button we have to actually go to the top 
let's close this section here in our home we have a button div tag just copy this button div tag close this one this one this one okay so here we have to paste the button div tag and i want only one the blue one so that's why i will remove this one and here we have to add submit form that's it now save and go to our website and here we have our this button here so we have done our html for our registration part now we have to go to our style sheet and we have to style these things so for our styling just copy this registration and first we have to count out and then paste the id here that's it so first we have to add a padding and the padding from top it will be 6 bw and 8 from left and 6 from bottom that's it now save and go to our website now here you can see that we have some space from left right top and bottom then i want to add the background image so that's why let's add our background image and again here i will add linear gradient because i want to add a background overlay of colors so that's why it will be linear gradient and here we have to add a rgb value so after the first rgb value we have to add another one so that's why it will be rgb also that's it so now here you can see that we have added two different rgb value now we have to add the images so it will be url and here we have a images folder and inside our images folder i have a image of actually sign up that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have an image here but this image again is actually not in the center exactly so we have to change this one and here we have to add first let's give a width here and it will be 100% and let's give a height also and it will be also 100% then background size will be cover and the background position will be center that's it now save and go to our website now this image is now in the center exactly so after this one here you can see that we have two different part here one is our this date and one is our this email section so now they are actually in one column but i want in one row so that's why i will use display flex and here i want some space from the between so that's why it will be justify content a space between then i will add align items and it will be center now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have two parts here one is here and another one is here so now here we have to style our these things so first we have to style our this reminder part so that's why I just copy this registration and then paste it here if i go to my index here we have a reminder class copy this class and then paste it here first i will change the color of all our text inside the registration and it will be white that's it save go to our website so now they are changed to white color everyone we have to change this one also so for changing this one just copy this one and then paste it here let's target our h1 save here you can see that we have changed the h1 color also now we have to style our this time so for styling just copy this section from here and go to our index and here you can see that we have a time class now copy this time class and then paste it here so i want this section this time section in one row they are actually in one column so again i am using this play flex and i will add some margin top so that we can have some space from the top and it will be 40 pixel save and here you can see that they are in one row and we have some space from the top now next thing we have to do we have to create that box here you can see that we have to create these boxes we have to create these beautiful glossomorphism boxes so for creating these things let's go to our code copy this section from here and then paste it here then we have to target our date and then paste it here so first i will do i will actually align everything in the center inside these boxes so that's why you have to add text align center that's it and then i will add a padding and a padding from top and bottom 13 pixel from left and right 33 pixel 
and then now let's add our background and our background color will be rgb hair yeah, that's it here it will be 255 255 255 and 0.25 now save and go to our website so guys here you can see that we have a glass of movism effect here i want to look this more effective so that's why i will add a box shadow a small box shadow and uh, okay let's first add a backdrop filter so let's add a backdrop filter here and it will be blur 4 pixel it will be inside this one now save that's it this is good now i want to add a box shadow so that it looks more effective let's add a box shadow and uh, from x it will be 0 from y 8 pixel and uh, the radius will be 32 pixel and it will be 0 add a rgb value it will be 31 38 135 that's it and now i will also add a border radius and it will be 5 pixel and now i want to add some space actually between these boxes so that's why let's add a margin and the margin from top it will be 0 but from left it will be 5 pixel from bottom 10 pixel from left or right it will be also 5 pixel now save and here you can see that we have some border radius and we have some space here now i want to add a border also and this border will make these boxes more beautiful so border will be 2 pixel solid white save and here you can see that we have the border here okay not this border i want to change the border color and uh, change the pixel also and it will be one pixel solid i want to add a rgb value that's it this one now save and go to our website yeah it is now looking more beautiful okay let's give a font size here and the font size will be 1.1 ram and uh, let's give a font width and it will be 600 and uh, i will actually increase the border radius and it will be 10 pixel now save and go to our website so guys here you can see that we have created our these boxes here so after this one now we have to create our this section our this form section so for creating the form section let's go to our uh, style sheet and just copy this section from here and then paste it here and uh, here instead of reminder we have to copy this form and then paste it here So for the form first we have to add a background color and it will be white then i have to add a border radius and it will be 8 pixel and if i go to my website here you can see that they are now in one row but i want everything in one column so that's why we have to add to display flex and the flex direction will be column now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have background color white and everything is now in one column now i want some padding inside the section so that's why let's add some padding and uh, padding will be 40 pixels from everywhere now save and here you can see that we have padding from everywhere 40 pixels now let's add a box shadow underneath this form and the box shadow i will simply copy the box shadow from here And paste it here so after our this section now we have to install our input sections now copy this one and then just target our this input element and first i will add some spacing so that's why add a margin and it will be 15 pixels from top and bottom left and right will be zero then i will add padding inside the input section and it will be 15 pixel from top and bottom and 10 pixel from left and right and then I will add a border and the border will be 1 pixel solid and the color will be a RGB value that's it and I don't want any outline so that's why outline will be none now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our beautiful input sections here like our this one so we have done with our this input now we have to install our this button here so for this button actually we have actually pick the false class it will be yellow not blue that's it 
and then now we have to actually copy the blue styling from our here if we have here 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 you can see that we have a yellow section now just copy this yellow and then paste it here just copy this one and then paste it here and here also now save and uh, go to our website and then now here you can see that we have our this section but now we have to add some padding and uh, more things so for those things let's go to our section here again and we have to copy these sections from here and then paste here that's it now save and go to our website and then now here you can see that we have our this button here submit form now I want some space here from the top of this button so for adding some space let's go to our code and uh, just copy this one and then paste it here and if I now go to my index here you can see that we have a button just copy this button class and then paste it here then I will add a margin top and it will be 20 pixel now save here you can see that now we have our space here from the top and now I want to actually style our this placeholders here you can see that we have actually a little bit different placeholder from this one so for changing the placeholders just copy this one and then paste it here and here we have to add placeholder that's it so for the placeholder I will add a different color and it will be this one and here I will add a font width and it will be 500 and here the font size and the font size will be 0 0.9 rem now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have changed our placeholder as well so guys here you can see that we have successfully created our this registration form and uh, after this registration form now we have to go to our website and here we have a profile section our community experts now we have to create this section also so for creating this one let's go to our code and uh, here after this registration let's comment out and it will be profiles Let's create a section here and let's give an ID also and the ID will be experts. So first we have to add h1 for our heading and our this paragraph. So I will simply go and open this course section just copy this h1 paragraph and paste it here. So for the h1 it will be community experts. That's it. Now save and go to our website. Here you can see that we have our community experts and our paragraph. Now we have to add our this profiles here. So for adding this one, let's go to our code and underneath this paragraph, let's create a div tag and the class name of this div tag will be expert box. And here we will create our first profile. So the class name of this div tag will be profile so inside the profile first we have to insert an image and i have a images folder and inside this images folder we have pro1 that's it after this one we have to add the name of this character so the name will be this one paste it here then we have to add a paragraph for the designation or this one so after this one we have to create a div tag for our social media links so the class name will be pro links and here we have to add some font awesome icons so it will be i and here we have to add some classes and the class will be f a b f a facebook so first one will be facebook now i will simply copy this one and uh, paste it two more time and uh, it will be in instagram and it will be LinkedIn I am here it will be Facebook dash F that's it now save and go to our website here you can see that we have our this image here and we have our name and we have our this Python and algorithm expert and we have our this social media links here so we have created our this section we have created our first profile so I will simply copy this profile and paste it 
three more time. Now save. Here you can see that we have now four profile here. So now we have to style this section, our expert section. So for styling this one, just copy this experts and go to our style sheet. First we have to comment out. Then we have to add this ID here. That's it. So for the experts, first we have to add a padding. Padding from top, it will be 8VW left, 8VW bottom 0 and from the right it will be also 8VW. And I want every text to be in the center. Now save and go to our website. So now everything is now in the center. So after this one, now we have to install our this profile section. So just copy these experts and then paste it here. Then we have to copy our this expert box, which is our parent box. And here I will use grid section so that we can align these profiles in one column. So we have to find the grid column which we have created first here. Now this one, just copy this one and then paste it here. That's it. And display will be grid, but this time I have to decrease the width and it will be 250 pixel. That's it. Rest will be same. Now save and go to our website. And now here you can see that they are in one row. So now I have to add a background color for these profiles. So for adding background color, just copy this one and then paste it here. Then we have to target our profile. Now copy this profile and then paste it here. First I will give a background color and the color will be this one. And I will add some padding inside this cut. So that's why padding will be 30 pixels from top and bottom and 10 pixels from left and right. Save. And here you can see that we have some different background color here and we have some padding from top bottom left and right so here in our website i don't want to change or i don't want to add a style for our this name and our this text but i will style our this pro links so that's why I just copy this one and then paste it here then target our pro links this one and then paste it here or simply I can actually target the pro link we don't need to target whole thing so here I will add some margin top first I want some space from top it will be 10 pixel and then copy this one again and then paste it here then target our eye tag so first I will add a padding and the padding will be 10 pixel from top and bottom 13 pixel from left and right then I will add a border and the border will be 1 pixel solid and I will add a RGB value this one and the cursor will be pointer and then now save and go to our website so here you can see that we have changed the styling for our this section now I want to add hover effect whenever I will hover on our these links or this icon I want to change the background color so for this one just copy this one and then paste it here here we have to add a hover that's it and uh, if I hover on our this button I want to change the background color so that's why let's add a background and background color will be actually this one this RGB value and I will change the color of our icon and it will be white that's it now save and go to our website and if I now hover here you can see that our background color and our this color is now changing our font color is now changing now I want a smooth transition so that's why let's add a transition here and it will be 0.3 second is now save and go to our website and if I now hover we have a smooth transition here and this is now looking good so here you can see that we have also successfully created our this profile section now I want to change the profile images and profile name so for doing this let's go to our index so now I have simply changed the images and the profile name and the designation now save and go to our website and here you can see that if I go to my website here you can see that we have changed the images and we have changed the name and our this designation here so guys we have successfully created our this profile section now we have to create our this footer 
So for creating the footer, let's go to our code in our index file. And here we have to create a footer. That's it. Here in the footer, I will actually divide the footer in four or five columns. One, two, three, four, and five. So five columns for this footer. So let's create the first column and the class name will be footer column. That's it. So first we will give a heading for every and each of this column and the H3 will be top products. And here I will add some list tag and our first list one will be this one and then paste it here. Second one will be this one. Paste it here. Third one will be this one. Paste it here. And our fourth one will be this one. Paste it here. Now save and go to our website. Here you can see that we have our heading and our this list here. So now we have done with our one column and I will now create our this three also. So let's go to our code. So now here you can see that we have created other three columns. Now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have four columns here. So guys here you can see that we have created our four columns here. Now we have to create our this newsletter section. So for creating this one let's go to our code. And here we have to create another div tag and the class name of this div tag will be footer column. That's it. And here we have to create a H3 and it will be newsletter. And here we have to create a paragraph and our paragraph will be this one. And then we have to create a div tag and the class name of this div tag will be subscribe. And then here we have to create our first this input section and then we have to create our this button. So let's get an input section and type will be text. And here we have to give a placeholder and here we have to write your email address. And then we have to create an anchor tag and this one will be hash and the name will be subscribe. And here we have to give a class and the class will be yellow because I want a yellow button. Now save and go to our website. Here we can see that we have our newsletter, our text, our email section and our button here. So after this one, now let's style our this footer. So for styling the footer, let's go to our, but first we have to copy the footer tag from here and then here you have to comment and then paste the footer ID. So let's add a padding here first. And a padding from everywhere, it will be 8VW. And then let's add a background color. And the color will be this one. Now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have added a color for our footer. Now this section is now in one column but I want everything in one row. So that's why I will use display flex. And then here we have to add justify content and it will be a space between because I want some space from the between. Align items will be flex start. And then I will add a flex wrap because whenever we don't have much space and I want to break things apart so that it can break in the next line so that's why it will be wrap. Now save and go to our website and here you can see that now everything is now in one row and then now we have to style these things. So for styling these things first we have to add some padding from the bottom so just copy this footer and paste it here and then we have to target our footer column paste it here. So I want a padding bottom and it will be 40 pixel. And then we have to copy this footer again and then paste it here. Then we have to target our headings in the inside the footer. So I will change the color of our this H3. So let's add a color and it will be a RGB value. And here I will add a font width. It will be 600. And uh, padding bottom here and it will be 20 pixel. Now save and go to our website. Here you can see that we have changed the color of our this setting and we have added some space from the bottom. Now we have to target our list tags. 
so just copy this footer and then paste it here target our ally I don't want any bullet points so this test type will be none then I will give a color of this text and the color will be this one that's it and I want some padding from top and bottom so that's why padding from top and bottom will be 10 pixel from left and right will be 0 then add a font size and it will be 15 pixel and I want to click this text so that's why it will be cursor pointer now save and go to our website here you can see that we have changed the color of all this text and now I want to add hover effect in our this list tag so let's add hover and if I now hover I will change the color and the color will be our this heading color now save and go to our website and if you now hover here you can see that we can change the color now I want a smooth hover so that's why we will add transition 0.3 second is that's it guys so after our this one now we have to install our this section our newsletter so for doing this just copy the footer first and then paste it here first we will install our this text so target our paragraph and here we have to give a color color will be this one that's it now copy the footer again and then paste it here and if I now go to my index here you can see that we have a subscribe class now copy this subscribe and then paste it here first I will add some margin top because I want some space from the top and it will be 20 pixel now we have to install our input section that's why I copy this footer and it will be input first I will give a width and it will be 220 pixel then I will add a padding inside the input 15 pixel from top and bottom 12 pixel from left and right then I will add a background and the background will be this one and I don't want any border none and I don't want any outline and I will change the color and it will be white now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have successfully changed the color of all this background and we have given a width 225 pixel now we have to install all this subscribe button so just copy this footer and then paste it here and uh, just copy this subscribe also then we have to drag it our air so for this one just go to the top and uh, we have already created some uh, styling for our these buttons in our home section I think so first we have to copy this one ok simply copy all from here and that's it and then paste it here and I don't want the blue one so that's why I delete the blue here we have to just copy this one and then paste it here and here now save and here you can see that we have our this subscribe button here and for the button actually I don't want that much space from left and right and I don't want this border radius so let's fix these things and the padding will be 12 pixel from top and bottom and it will be 15 pixel from left and right now save and go to our website so yeah this is now looking good and I will remove the border radius let's remove this one so guys here you can see that we have our subscribe button here and I will change the subscribe button color from here that's it now save and go to our website and if I now hover here you can see that this button is looking good so guys we have done with our this newsletter also now we have to add our this copyright section and our this section here so for doing this let's go to our index and underneath this one we have to create a div tag and the class name of this div tag will be copyright so here first we have to create a paragraph and uh, the paragraph will be this one that's it now you have to create a div tag and the class name of this div tag will be pro links so for the links here I will simply go to the profile section and copy this div tag 
and then paste it here because I want the same styling. Now let's go to our code, and here you can see that we have our these sections here. So now we have to style these things. So for styling, let's go to our code. First, copy the footer, and then paste it here. Then we have to go to our index and copy the copyright, and paste it here. So first, I will add a margin top, and it will be twenty pixel. Then I will add display flex because I want everything in one row, and justify content will be a space between. Align items will be center, and I will give a width here, and I want to take this section hundred percent width and height, and I will wrap the flex if we don't have any space left. Now save and go to our website. Here you can see that we have our text and our this section here. Now next thing we have to do, we just have to go to our style and find out the pro links. Here you can see that we have a pro links. Now copy this pro links and paste it in here. So for the copyright section, we have to paste it here, here and here. And I don't want any margin top, and it will be zero. And in our this I section here, I will simply add a background color, and the color will be this one. And I will add a font color, and the color will be this one. That's it. And if I now hover, I want to change the background color and the text color. Our background color will be this one, and our text color will be this one. Now save and go to our website. And if I now hover here, you can see that our this section is now changing its color. So for the copyright paragraph, I will change the paragraph color also. Just copy this section from here, and then paste it here. Then target our paragraph color will be white. Now save, and here you can see that we have changed the color. And guys, here you can see that we have successfully created the footer section also. Now, if I scroll to the top here, you can see that we have created our navigation bar, our home page, our awesome features, our popular course, our registration, and then experts and footer. Now, before we moving into our responsive part, we have to check out if everything is okay or not. So here you can see that our navbar is okay and it is fixed, and our home section is also okay. Our hover effect is also working well. And if I scroll down here, you can see that we have our awesome features. And we have some space here underneath these awesome features, and we have to actually maintain the same space in every section. And here you can see that our popular courses and this course and our these details is also looking good. If I now scroll down, our these courses is actually going on the top of our navbar. Now we can't see our navbar completely, and here you can see that we don't have any space between these sections. Between our this course section and our this registration section, now we have to add some space here between these two section. And uh, if I now scroll down here, you can see that again we don't have any space between this our expert section and our footer section. Now we have to add some space here. So we have to add a space here and here also, and then we have to fix this navbar and our this course section. So for fixing these things, let's go to our code. And if I go to the top here. First, we have to fix the navbar. Now, in our navbar, I will use Z index, and it will be nine nine nine. And if I now save and go to our website, and if I now scroll down, here you can see that our course section is not going on the top of our navbar. Now it's completely working fine. So after this one, now we have to add some space underneath this course section. So let's go to our course section. So in our course section here, you can see that we have padding, padding top eight, left eight, right eight. But for the bottom, we don't have any space, we don't have any padding. So that's why I will give the eight for the bottom also. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that now we have a space at the bottom of our course section. So after this one, we have to add the same padding for our this community experts. Now let's go to our expert section. And here in our expert section, we have to also add eight VW for the bottom. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that we have some space at the bottom of our community experts. 
and yeah i think everything is looking good now and everything is looking perfectly well so now we have to jump into our responsive part so for making this website responsive just inspect the website and then we will make our ipad mode first so here you can see that we are now in our ipad and in our ipad this is not looking so nice we have to arrange these things so for doing this let's go to our code in our style sheet we have to add a media query so first we have to add a max width that's it and here we have to add a pixel here you can see that we are now in 768 pixel so we have to give it here I will give 769 pixel so if I now go to our website here you can see that we have too much space from left and right in our navigation bar so I want to decrease the space so that's why just select the section here and uh, you will see a nav here so here you can see that we have all the style which we have written for our large screen so these are the styling now I will change some styling for our this iPad mode so that's why we have to copy this styling from here so for copying the styling we have to just go to the section and just click right and from here just copy the rule and then paste it here that's it so I will simply add a padding here not everything for the padding it will be 15 pixel from top and bottom and 20 pixel from left and right now save here you can see that now we have less space from top and bottom and left and right and I want to decrease the size of our this logo if I now select the logo here you can see that now it is 150 pixel I will decrease the space so that's why I copy the rule and paste it here and it will be 130 pixel that's it I don't need this one now save and go to our website here you can see that we have decreased the space of our this section of our this logo so actually in our tablet mode or in our mobile screen device I don't want this nav links to show here in one row instead of this one I want to see a hamburger menu here so if I click on this hamburger menu then I want to show this nav links not now so that's why first we have to add a hamburger menu here so for adding the hamburger menu first we have to go to our large screen and go to our index here first collapse this footer and this profile and let's go to our index here in our nav bar here you can see that we have a div tag and uh, underneath this another list we have to add a hamburger menu so I have an image for this hamburger menu so that's why let's take an image tag and I have a images folder here I have a menu image now save here you can see that we have a hamburger menu but this hamburger menu is actually now in the in one column with our this navigation links but I want this one to be in one row with our this links so for changing the aligning we have to go to our style sheet and go to the top here and uh, from here we, we just have to copy the nav and navigation and paste it here we will just use display flex that's it so now here you can see that we have our menu button in one row and uh, now from here we have to adjust the width and height for our this menu button so for adjusting the width and height we have to go to our index here we have to give a id here and it will be menu button that's it now copy this menu button id and then paste it here now i will give a width of 30 pixel then i will give a height also and the height will be also 30 pixel that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our menu button here so after our this menu button if I go to my website and if I inspect the website here in our tablet mode if I click on our this menu button here you can see that we have a close button also now we have to import the close button here also so for importing the close button we have to go to our font awesome icon and here we have to search for times here you can see that we have a close button now just open this close button and you copy the iTag from here and go to our index file and here on the top of our list we have to paste 
the tag here now just go to our website here you can see that now you have an icon here close icon now you have to install this one also so for installing you have to give an id here also and the id will be menu close that's it so if i now go to our website now initially in our large screen i don't want to show our this close button and our this menu button so i want to hide these two in our large screen so that's why we have to just copy this menu close and then paste it here here i will add display none and uh, copy this display none and paste it here also now save and go to our website here you can see that now we don't have the menu button and our menu close button here now if i inspect the website and go to our tablet mode then i want to show the buttons here so for showing the buttons just copy this two from here and go to our tablet mode media query and paste it here remove this one and instead of display none it will be initial now save here you can see that we can see our this icon here menu icon and now i want to place this nav links in one column here so we have to select the section nav section this one and now from here copy the rule and then paste it here that's it here i want everything in one column so that's why it will be flex direction and it will be column and the justify content will be actually flex start align items will be also flex start now save and go to our website now here you can see that everything is now in one column now i want to take this section from the navigation it means i want to add some positioning of this section so that's why let's add position not relative and it will be absolute from top it will be zero and uh, from right it will be also zero now save and go to our website here you can see that we can see our this section in top zero and right zero let's increase the size now you can see that now i will give a width of this nav section so that's why let's give a width here and it will be 220 pixel and i will give a background color and it will be white here you can see that you have a background color here now i want to increase the height of this section so that's why let's add a height and it will be 100 vh save so now here you can see that it is taking 100 vh so now here i want to actually change the background color of our this one so for changing the background color here i will add a rgb value and here i will add a backdrop filter because i want to make this background like a glass amorphism background so that's why we have to add blur and it will be 4.5 pixel and then i will add a border here and the border will be one pixel solid color will be a rgb value that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have changed the color of our this background now we have to change the color of our this links and we have to add some padding and uh, margin here so that's why I copy this section and then paste it here so we have to target our ally here i will add some padding and the padding from top it will be 20 pixel from left 0 from bottom 20 pixel from right 40 pixel and i don't want any margin left so that's why it will be 0 now save and go to our website here you can see that we have our this section and we have some space here also now i want to change the colors so for changing the colors copy this one and paste it here and we have to drag it our anchor tag and the color will be white now save go to our website here you can see that we have our this text here now here in the section if i go to my website here you can see that we have the close button visible now we have to make this here also so if i go to my top here you can see that we have a menu close here it will be display initial now save here you can see that we have the close button on the top and we have to install this one so for installing this one let's go to our install sheet here let's add a font size and it will be 
six RAM and let's give a color and the color will be white let's add some padding here padding from top 30 pixel from left 0 from bottom 20 pixel from right 20 pixel now save go to our website here you can see that we have our button here like this one so now here you can see that we have created our this menu now i want to close this menu if i click on this close button so for doing this i will add a simple jquery code so let's go to our section and go to our index file and uh, here underneath this footer we have to create a script and here in our script first we have to take a dollar sign and uh, i want to close the section if i click on the close button so that's why we have to take the id from the close button and it will be menu close and now we have to add a click function so that's why we have to add click and uh, if i click on this menu close we will run a function now what this function will do okay now if i click on this button i want to remove the nav section from the screen so that's why if i go to my style sheet here you can see that we have given right zero if i give minus 220 pixel and if i now save here you can see that our nav bar is now gone okay so we have to do the exact thing here for now initially it will be minus 220 pixel if i click on the menu button this button i want to change the right position and the right position will go back to the zero okay so that's why i will simply copy this one and then paste it here and here i will add a class which is active in our active i will add right zero okay so if i click on our menu button now this section is now minus 220 pixel right if i click on this menu button i want to add the active class and the right button will be converted into zero so that the section will be come from the right side here we can see this if i want to see the menu i will click on this button i will add the active class then we will see the close section here if i click on the close section i will remove the active class so for removing this one let's go to our code here so this is our menu menu close so if i click on the menu close i will remove the active class so for removing the active class we have to again take a dollar sign and uh, we have to take this one and paste it here that's it then we have to remove class and we have to remove the active class that's it guys now we have done with our menu close now we have to do the menu appear also so that's why paste it here and it will be menu button so if i click on our menu button i want to add the active class not remove the active class that's it now save and go to our website save here also now save and go to our website and if i now click on the menu button here you can see that it is not working because we are using actually jquery so that's why we have to add the jquery cdn also so just search here jquery cdn and open the first link from here and from here we have to pick the latest version and we have to select the minified and we have to simply copy the cdn link and go to our html and go to the top and paste it here underneath the style sheet now save and go to our website and if i now click on the menu button here you can see that we have added the active class here you can see we have active class and if i now click on the close button the active class will be removed if i now click on the uh, close button here you can see that the active class is now removed if i click on the menu button active class is here if i click on the close button the active class is now removed now i want to add some transition here so that it looks good now go to our style sheet and here we have to add a transition 0.3 second is now save and go to our website and if i now close here you can see that we can see the transition from left and right 
so this is looking so beautiful so after our menu bar we have to fix other things so first I will fix the home section if I now select the home section here you can see that our this paragraph is actually let's select the paragraph and it and it is taking 50% of width now I want to increase the width so that's why just copy the section from here and I paste it here and I don't want to change anything so delete these lines instead of 50% it will be take 90% save and here you can see that it is now taking 90% and if I now select the home section here here you can see that we have a padding 40 pixel padding top if I remove the padding top here you can see that this section is actually go to the top a little bit so that's why just copy the home copy the rule from here and then paste it here I will simply remove them because I don't want to change anything from here but from the padding top it will be 0 pixel not 40 now save and go to our website now this is looking much better so after all this one we have to go to our feature section in our feature section we have so many spacing from left and right now I want to remove the padding so if I now select the section here you can see that I have padding here now simply copy the section copy the rule from here and then paste it here from top it will be 8 from left it will be 4 from right it will be also 4 I don't want to change the text align now save what our website so guys here you can see that this is now looking good about this section so after this one we have to decrease the spacing from this section also here you can see that we have padding now copy the rule from our course and go to the bottom and paste it here so here you can see that we have 8 and uh, from the left it will be 4 right will be also 4 don't want to change the text align save and go to our website here you can see that now this is taking perfect width and height so after this one here you can see that we have extra space here here and this space is actually causing for our this registration section because this section is actually going in the right side of the screen so that's why we have to first decrease the spacing just copy the rule from our registration and paste it here don't want to change anything else just change the spacing from left and right now save go to our website here you can see that we have less space here and here you can see that if I break the box and bring it in the next line I think we will have some space so that this section can actually place or take the space so that's why let's take the section here so this is the section just copy the section from here and then paste it here here I will add a flex wrap here and it will be wrap now save here you can see that now it is taking perfect space here and uh, and we can see the last box in a new line so we have done with our this section and uh, this section looks good now I want to add some padding here underneath this section so here you can see that we have our expert section now copy the expert and uh, paste it here here I will add a padding here and it will be 4 VW now save here we can see that we have now a space at the bottom here and our footer section is also looking good if I decrease the space you can see the rest of it here you can see that now if I select the section of our this one I mean the pro links I want to add some space from the top so that's why I copy the rule from here and then paste it here I will add a margin top let's see 20 pixel now save here you can see that now we have a space 20 pixel is too much let's decrease and it will be 15 yeah it is looking much better now so guys we have done with our this section this section this one okay i think we need to add some space here also if i increase here you can see that we don't have any space underneath the course so let's go to our registration and here add a margin top here and it will be 8 vw that's it now save here you can see that now we have a space here 
so we have done with our this tablet mode now we have to make this website for our small screen device also now let's go to our iPhone 6 here and yes we have another space now we have to fix these things so for fixing this one let's go to our styling and here we have to add another media and the media will be max width and it will be 475 pixel that's it so I think this space from the right side is taking for our this registration card here you can see that this registration card we have to fix this thing now actually they are in one row if we do this in one column this should work so let's take the section that's it now copy the rules from here and paste it here so i don't want to change any padding or any background or anything from here i just want to add flex direction and it will be column and the justify content will be center align items will be also center now save it is now in one column and I hope this is better and we don't have the space from the right side anymore. Now what I want to do is I want these boxes to be in center. So that's why let's take the box and copy the rule from here and paste it here. Flex wrap is okay. Justify content will be center. Align items will be also center. Now save. Here you can see that now it is in the center. Now we have too much space here on the top. I will decrease the space. It will be 20 pixel. Yeah, now this is looking good. And here you can see that we don't have any space underneath this last box. So for the space, I will add a margin bottom. And it will be 20 pixel. Yeah, now here you can see that we have a space here underneath this box. And uh, now I want this text to be in the center also. So that's why I go to our registration and here I will add text align center. Now here you can see that every text is now in the center. So yeah guys here you can see that we have created a responsive website using HTML and CSS. So this is our part 1. In our part 1 we have created our this home page and we have made this home page responsive for our tablet mode and for our mobile screen devices also and in our part 2 we will try to create our rest pages we will create the about page in our next tutorial and we will make this about page responsive for tablet and for mobile as well and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys really enjoyed this tutorial then please please subscribe, like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos. And if you guys have any question about this video then please please let me know in my comment section. And that's it guys, let's see you in our next part.